Hi right, guys, so we are now entering an exciting phase of the Volvo Car and Horizon Eco Design Challenge with Dudo by EcoWorld. So right now, the participants will now have to propose an interior design based on the actual layout of Dudo by EcoWorld units. So the best designs, EcoWorld will give them a contract to furnish whole floors of Dudo property units, okay, according to the design that they proposed. Okay, so what are we looking for uh, in the in these designs, uh, in these home designs? Basically, um, we want to see interior designers capture the essence of uh, Volvo Cars Scandinavian design philosophies in the in in their home space. Okay, so right now I am here at Volvo Satya Alam, and in this video, we will be exploring the interior of these Volvo cars, okay, to show you, to, uh, to dive in on what makes uh, design in Volvo cars. Okay, so the current generation of Volvo cars, the design language began here. This is the XC90 that was launched in 2015. Uh, well, there was a facelift that, that was introduced last year, but this unit here, this example here, this is still the pre-facelift version. So let's go inside and explore uh, the interior of this car. Okay, so we get inside. And first, uh, let's, let's give you a one overall look of the cabin okay so uh, as you can see here the philosophy the overall philosophy here in this cabin is uh, is that less here is indeed more uh, there is a greater emphasis on the use of tasteful materials uh, rather than just using you know blind amount of add-ons and tacky uh unnecessary uh fuss in in the in the whole design philosophy but you see the thing is that with um a careful and tasteful uh application of elements we see that with each of the those the few elements that they have here in this cabin everything is executed tastefully all right with thought so like for example even thick details as small as the aircon, you know, this uh, this vent control uh, is 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 uh, integrated with these fine details, okay. And of course, you can see up here. This is uh, one of a a, la a, des a design landmark of this car, the Bowers and Wilkins sound system, um, and also the overall dashboard. You notice that there aren't much, ma uh, there aren't that many buttons. Whoa, of course, has been very clever. Uh, they have moved a lot of the control elements into the screen. So by doing this, uh, Volvo has been very clever because what this does is by putting all the um, functions, all right, a lot of the functions control into the screen, you reduce the number of overall elements in the cabin. Okay, not that's one. And second thing, um, it, it elevates the perceived value of the cabin but at the same time uh, it is also a more cost effective way to build a, a, a cabin and to accommodate for variation because think about it uh, these cars are designed to allow for a varying degree of specification in markets where customization is allowed uh, consumers are able to choose what features to include what features to not include and in some cases the possibilities are endless so by by you know by by putting all the controls in one screen it frees volvo from the obligation of developing you know each individual button to control different features and thereby uh optimizing the cost you know of their 
of their dashboard development and that money saved can then be invested to you to to on better materials more beautiful materials uh better finishing you know but uh an alignment of all the uh various items now one of my favorite design um element rather a uh, uh, feature of the current generation volvo dashboards really is this 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 uh this piece here it reminds me of uh of a saddle that you put on a horse the way it, it just visually sits on this tunnel okay on the whole tunnel because as you know um under here is for the plug-in hybrid models is the battery module all right so uh i quite i quite like visually how this whole piece all right just vi uh sits on this uh on this tunnel now one thing i rather like here is volvo's usage of the open pore wood trim okay um, it gives the cabin a very warm ambiance, a very homely feel to it. it. It feels almost like you're sitting in your living room. Okay, um, and yeah. So and and here this uh, this gear lever, the Oroforce crystal gear lever. This is real crystal. Okay, and when you knock on the crystal, it feels solid. It doesn't feel hollow. Many cars with with, with gear levers, you know, it's a plastic gear lever. When you knock on it, there is a hollow sound. This one does not. The number of elements you can see here, if you compare it with many other premium uh, vehicles, you know, there, is, there isn't as many dash elements as you see here. It's, it's a very, mini the design is very minimalist, but what you can see is that in all these minimized number of items, they polish to almost perfection every uh, minute element here that you can see and you know it, and it's not just uh, in terms of of uh, of appearance there's also thought given uh, to practicality as well so like you see for example look at the door here they thought of this space where you can drop a whole computer inside so the, the there is a very um, there is a, a very strong emphasis on thinking on the consumer's part on usability, on day-to-day -day usability, on how the car will be used on a day-to-day -day basis. So now we come to the rear section of the car. All right. Uh, I just want to show you here one thing. Now, one very popular feature of many Volvo vehicles is this. Okay, this built-in booster seat where you can lift this up and you know your child of six to seven years old can sit on this okay and uh, and still be properly buckled in so you see the moral the, the the idea behind this is that if you allow your child to sit on uh, according to a, an adult's uh, seating height what happens is in the event of an accident the belt Okay, can potentially cut on your child's neck so what you want is the idea of this is to elevate the child's sitting position so that the belt rests on your child's shoulder okay uh, so this is an example another example of uh, of thoughtfulness in the interior design of Volvo cars now and also the seats in this XC90 here can be folded down uh, to lengthen okay to expand on your cargo space uh, but what I want to point to you is how they took the trouble to to align the folding of the seats in such a way that there is always a continuous uh, a sur it's a it's a seamless surface so yes you can see here there is a gap between this but um, you know when you do really have to carry a bulky item that item can sit entirely on the floor okay without rocking about or if you're particular about things dropping dropping through these gaps you can just put a piece of plastic to cover it and you can load your things on here um you know and they will sit properly on the floor you know without rocking about during the duration of your journey 
Okay, so now as I'm seated here in the luggage compartment of the XC90, uh, let me just show you some of the few nifty touches that they have inserted uh, at various points here. So uh, here you can see these are two uh, shopping hooks, so you can use this to hang your groceries or even your tapau food, your chakwe tiao, your burger ramli, all that you can hang there. Okay, and this thing has a maximum load of five kilograms, so it can carry pretty heavy stuff up here. Now, um, over here, you can see there's a 12 volt socket, which say, for example, if you are going to travel um, outstation, right? You want to bring your little mini fridge. Okay, you can, uh, you can use this. To power the thing okay so to keep your your whatever things in there cool that's just one example and uh, here you can see this little compartment here with this strap this is this is useful for you to put uh, 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 bottles of liquid your drinks or, or any other other things that you may want okay uh, inside here this is a cup holder this area of this space here of course is for um, for the third row passenger, so if you get the third row seats up, this is their armrest, and inside here, this is a storage compartment. And check out this little spider here, okay? That uh, that that's here to say hello when you open the lid, okay? They have it on. Do they have it on this side as well? Yes, they do. Okay, so open this lid, and you can see the little spider smiling back at you, and and yep. So here you have this. This is a cup holder. Uh, and this check this out so here this little uh, thing is an organizer where you can lift this up okay uh, to organize your boot so if let's say that you're carrying big items you don't want them to 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 slide about so you can lift this up okay to partition your your luggage space okay into small uh, into small partitions and in here you can see this strap allows you to strap things uh, standing and this is an, an extra a further two hooks here for you to put your your to hang barang as well so all in it is a very very thought well thought out design and you can lift this whole thing up to reveal another hidden compartment underneath So from the flagship XC90, we now come down to the XC40, which is at present the entry level model into the Volvo range. So uh, you can say it's on the opposite ends of the model spectrum. Uh, it, this is the XC40, uh, what they call the R design, which is focused on, uh, on a bit more sporty character. So this is aimed at a younger audience, right? Uh, compared to the more matured crowd that would go for the XC90. But as you can see here, the overall design philosophy, okay, it shares much in common with the uh, bigger XC90 brother. It's just that the, some little details uh, differentiate uh, this from the, the bigger car. So you can see here, the choice of materials also reflect its target audience so you can see here this is um compared to the um open pore wood trim this is a more sophisticated looking metallic pattern here if you like okay the the same vertical screen is here so the philosophy behind the screen is the same all right as in the xc90 and down here you can see it's the same uh, arrangement of controls Okay, with this nice and polished rotary knob uh, that that is that that's, that functions as the volume control. Okay, now when you come down here, you can see this is a wireless charging tray uh, for most of us with our phones. All we have to do uh, on the move, you just park your phone there. That's it. Okay, you don't have to worry about plugging cables onto it. Just put your phone down there. It charges. All right, and. And uh, you can see that the surface, the storage surfaces, are all are all textured and rubberized. So so you know when when you put things down here, uh, they don't move about. They don't they don't uh, they don't flung get flung about when you are driving a bit more enthusiastically. So inside here, there's another compartment here, okay, which open which is open access from a lid, okay. But what is what I would like to draw your attention to is this. So this. This compartment here has a spring-loaded 
uh, cover which you just press this down you throw things inside and it pops up now the whole philosophy of this this is actually um, a paper uh, a waste paper basket rather right so this is where you throw all your rubbish inside here and uh, you know and then later on you find the tong sampah you go and empty this into okay and what i like about here is that it also has this this net okay so when when you put this inside here this allows you to to slip things inside here as well or you know you can choose to not deploy that okay and and leave yourself with a, a an even bigger storage space here okay so what you have here uh this is a once again you can see here this is rubberized as well so things inside here even they, they don't move about so easily and even if they do they don't make too much of a noise okay now i'm just going to open the door and show you something else so as i open the door as you can see here that's my microsoft surface com uh, tablet computer so this this uh this computer drops in here conveniently and there is still space for you to drop a bottle here as well okay um this is of course designed with lady drivers in mind so which is good because what what this means is that the designers who worked on this car gave thought to the person using it and that is a key aspect of swedish design philosophy you you think for the user you think you have to visualize how the user uses the vehicle on a day-to-day -day basis and design the elements the features of the vehicle to fit that person's usage patterns so you can see here uh there's also these two card slots here which you can use to store your parking cards your touch and go cards all right and within easy reach now the other philosophy behind the xc40's design here is that there was a great emphasis to ensure that all these storage spaces are all within easy reach of the driver so when you come in you just unload all your things into all these various pockets of space and anytime when you're driving the car all all these you know uh items that you've just stored away they are all within easy reach so as we can see from exploring and comparing between the xc40 and the xc90 two vehicles that are on opposite ends of the volvo car model spectrum um you can see that yes there are details that that differentiate these cars uh that that you know that uh that better cater to the tastes of their specific audience but at the same time there's also a unifying philosophy and ethos behind their designs you know it is it is it it, it looks clear to any onlooker that these cars are all designed by just the same group of people but you know but they fine-tune that application to the people in whom they intend to deliver the product to okay so the philosophy is this is the same overarching philosophy but the differences really are just down to minute details okay so they, they there is a clear emphasis on minimalism on less is more but don't confuse minimalism for um for 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 to justify you know giving a barren product it's not that at all when they say less is more what they mean is that by uh by using fewer elements okay less elements each of these elements you can then spend more effort and more resource to polish and fine-tune them to perfection okay so yes less is more but it means more effort on each of the fewer elements that you choose to put in okay and i think the important uh takeaway is that when it comes to scandinavian design philosophy there is a great emphasis on uh on warmth you know on making the environment feel welcoming uh there's also uh, importance placed in efficiency which is what which is also one reason why volvo cars are uh, they are one of the industry leaders when it comes to fuel efficiency in their latest generation powertrains and you can see that they are also very uh very particular about using eco-friendly materials in the construction of their cars okay so uh volvo 
besides being well known for safety, sustainability is also a key element in Volvo's brand identity. And perhaps most importantly, uh, when you design, you know, a product for you for for a user, it is very important to think about the person you are you whom you intend to sell this product to, and how your product uh, best suits that person's needs, wants, and daily usage. So, and that that is where you can see the different details that are put into the XC40 and the XC90 because uh, the designers have obviously thought through you know the different demographics that consider an XC40 versus an XC90 and they accordingly design and built the car to suit the tastes and the usage by the target demographics and the same therefore should apply to home design as well so i hope this video has been useful for for you guys all right this exploration of Volvo cars interior design philosophy uh how the thought process of how Volvo's uh, engineers and designers put in uh, in order to arrive at the products that you see in the showrooms okay and you know how they make sure that that the car ultimately suits the user